29, 28 seconds. New highs are throwing. Intercepted on the 30. Driving down the sideline. Running down the sideline. Charlie Dean. Touchdown. 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 The 83 football team lived and died with defense all year, as you remember. Herschel had left. And there we were with the big running back gone. And we had to do it on defense. Now we had an outstanding defensive back. Uh, Hogue was still around. But this is a great football team that all year long either held down inside of the five somewhere or maybe put together some kind of a drive. We weren't famous at quarterback. We weren't famous at running back. We just did the whole thing on defense. We had a great senior group that year. Virtually no offense at all. And if somebody ever goes back and checks the scores to see how many points we scored that year in crucial games, in big games, we didn't score many. We lived on defense. September 3rd, 1983, another West Coast heavyweight invades Athens as Terry Donahue's UCLA Bruins kick off the college season in Georgia's first game since Herschel Walker jumped to the USFL. Like BYU, it would be special teams and defense that set the stage for a Bulldog victory. And Butler kicks it up, and the kick is good. Georgia leads 3 to nothing. After another Butler field goal made it 6 nothing in the second quarter, the Dogs would go on their final offensive touchdown drive of the day moving 40 yards in 10 plays. And UCLA is up on a 9-2 defense. Williams in motion and then back to the other side. They're in the eye. And Todd Williams is following and running. Touchdown! <laughs> Todd Williams had a hole on the right side over there by Gray and McIntyre and Kay. He was running behind Barry Young. UCLA behind quarterback Rick Neuheisel cut Georgia's 12-0 lead in half on two John Lee field goals and several times in the second half moved into Georgia territory before the dog defense would rise to the occasion. Georgia punter Chip Andrews would take a safety with a little over a minute remaining, cutting the Bulldog lead to 12-8 and putting the game in the hands of the defense. They're going to come after the kicker. Snap. He's going to fake it and go back and take a safety. Andrews is running in the corner, using up some time, and then step out of bounds and deliberately take a safety to make it 12-8. They got 17 yards in a first down. The clock starts 29, 28 seconds. New Heisel throwing. Intercepted on the 30. Driving down the sideline. Running down the sideline. Charlie Dean. Touchdown. 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 Charlie Dean read it right and cut inside and came wide open. 68 yards for a touchdown. Part of that new patched up, crippled up, gone, graduated, sunk secondary. 18 to 8, 18 seconds. Charlie Dean suddenly. We'll probably take a penalty for the mob scene that we had in the end zone. Lauren. Larry, I can tell you who's on the next casualty list. Charlie Dean, he is still being mobbed on this sideline. And by the way, in case you're interested, that's the first Georgia touchdown ever scored after midnight. <laughs> oh, and probably the first one ever scored on a Sunday morning, too. Dean's interception return rocked Sanford Stadium and the ABC national TV audience kicking off the post-Herschel era in dramatic fashion as the dogs would roll on to a 10-1-1 record and a final number four national ranking.